So with the release of Plasma Storm, we have a lot, uh, or not a lot, but uh, a few new decks in the format. So this video is to show, um, I believe this is my Darker Eye Hydragon deck. I don't think at this point I had actually drawn uh, or, or built any new decks. Um, but this is facing a uh, the new Rotom, um, and I'm just going to call this a Rotom Swarm, because um, essentially that's what this deck does. And... Uh, I, th I think you're going to enjoy it. So this is a quick video, um, but uh, I think just the, the, the potential of Rotom is, is kind of cool. So he gets triple Rotom out, he random receivers for a Skyla. Uh, not sure if that's really what he wants or not. Um, now, uh, what you use Rotom for, although Rotom has amazing draw power too early in the game, but you use it for, um, ooh, computer search. Uh, you, you use it for the second attack, Poltergeist. So, uh, it's like old Gengar, it does damage based on the number of trainers in your hand. Right now, I have five trainers in my hand. Um, I'm trying to remember if it says 20 or 30 times a number, but with Colrus Machine, uh, you get a turn, yeah, he just got turn one, uh, Rotom, hitting me for 100 before I can do anything. So, I'm, uh, a little worried. Um, so I'm going to catch up a Rotom that doesn't have any energy on it. Um, hoping to stall him for a little bit. Use that max potion to heal off that Keldeo. And, uh... Oh, this is rough. He's only got one card in hand. But, do I call risk for three? And I decide to go for it. I call risk for three and pass. Hoping that he just doesn't have anything in his hand. And, uh, he's gonna be a little, you know, slowed down by it. So he attaches a lightning. Um... And is probably just gonna retreat. Yep, a retreat, uh, retreat back and use Poltergeist for uh, 40. So, um, this is interesting. So I've got an Ultra Ball. Um, I don't want to have to throw out Hydreigon, but I'm going to be doing it anyways. We'll go ahead and get a Dieno out onto the field, and uh, then I'll play that Juniper. So that Colrus ended up being a, a really good play for me. It could have really hurt, but I, I honestly, I just got lucky. So uh, no energy, unfortunately, but I do fill up my bench and uh, I have a Colrus in hand, so I'm going to be able to Colrus next turn for 7. Um, he's going to be able to do another 60 to me, but um, that's okay. My Keldeo can sit up there for a little while and just take the damage. Uh, until he brought up a Deano. Um, so, never mind. Um, ew. Uh, he plays a Plasma Frigate, so um, his Plasmas don't have weakness. Puts down a Buffalant, attaches the energy, and hits my little Deano for 120. Ouch. I have nothing but trainers in my hand, and he overkills my little, uh, yeah. Just really overkills it. Um, so, uh, let's see. Do I get a, Hi I can get a Hydragon up, and then get a Juniper for next turn. Um, Still missing out on the energy attachment, which is that that's bugging me right now. Um, now, if I get a Hydragon up, I can go ahead and Sableye to get some stuff back. So that may be the option to go. Um, I'm gonna lose some prizes. That's gonna be pretty obvious, but um, uh, I think I need to get this Hydragon up before things get any worse. So I go ahead and Skyla for a rare candy. Um, Gonna use an Ultra Ball to throw out um, another Ultra Ball and a Dart Patch. Go for the Hydragon. Rare Candy to Hydragon. Catcher up uh, one of these Rotoms that doesn't have any energy on it. Hopefully, uh, just try and stall a little bit. Um, and then I. Th oh, this is a hard one because if I retreat back and just get more trainers out of my hand, or, or, or get more trainers back with Junk Hunt, that that just means he can hit me harder. Um, so I decide just to end my turn. Um, yeah, I, I have to assume that he has a switch of the energy to be able to get back into it. But that computer search, um, I'll be able to get into a Juniper and just draw a new hand, and I should be alright, and hopefully speed things up a bit. So, um, he used a bicycle to uh, get his hand back up, uh, use an ether, but fails, um, but he was able to attach and retreat back to the other Rotom, and, uh, for some reason didn't attack, uh, don't really 
quite understand that. Maybe he accidentally hit end turn. Um, but anyways, I, uh, what did I do? I used computer search or something for Colrus. I, I, I completely even missed what I did. Um, so now we finally got some energy. Uh, go ahead and attach one to that hydro, uh, sorry, not Hydragon, uh, the Dark Eye. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and Super Rod in my Hydragon and... Uh, Diano and I'm still trying to f yeah I don't want to put more trainers in my hand but I kind of want more trainers I just don't want them to hurt me so I go ahead and Ultra Ball get a Diano out um, and ah uh, to junk hunt or not to junk hunt that is the question. I mean, I could just get some nice dark patch in. Uh, I do decide to rush in just so that Keldeo is taking the damage and I can easily max potion that off later. Um, yeah. Uh, with Hydragon, I'll be able to easily move around my dark energy, so I'm not worried about free retreat. He uses the Pokedex to rearrange the top, uh, is it top four or top five of your deck? Um, hoping that in the future he can get an Aether. Uh, it looks like he didn't, so I, yeah, it means Junipering for 7 anyways, I guess, why not? Um, <laughs> uses a coal wrist machine to attach a plasma energy to one of his many, 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 many other Rotoms on the bench. He's got a, uh, every Rotom in play now, actually. And, um, checking out his discard pile, a DCE and a bunch of lightning, catches up uh, another, uh, Deano, so he's gonna definitely prevent me from getting the a second Hydreigon into play, um, but uh, little let does he know that I actually only have one trainer in my hand, so that's, uh, he's only going to hit me for 20, and I'm fine with that, I, I could take a hit at 20, so uh, he kind of did have me worried at the beginning of the game just because he started off with the turn two, um, or I'm not sorry, turn two, uh, turn one, uh, Ronan Poltergeist for quite a bit, but um, I, I guess I kind of went back to my old days of when I had to play uh, with and against Vilegar and just, you know, learning what trainers you can deal without and live without and whatever. So um, keeping your hand down just as low as you possibly can. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, tran you know retreat trans and knock out the Rotom and do 30 to another Rotom. So this is when I'm in pretty good shape. As, as long as I have a Dark Eye and a Hydreigon on the field, I'm pretty solid because I'm one-shotting his Rotoms. Um, Bufalant, uh, the Bufalant is a bit of a worry, I will admit it. Um, but uh, I can still one-shot it with my Hydreigon, and I may just do that just to uh, to get that threat off the field. Because again, the Rotoms um, at this point are not a threat. I'm easily one-shotting them. Um, but that Bufalant is, yeah, don't, definitely don't want to have to deal with that. So, um, I'm dark trancing, oh, well, looks like a, what, what am I doing? Um, dark trancing some stuff off, using max potion to heal, uh, level ball just to burn it, because I don't have any bench space, I already have as well as on the field. And uh, this is when he concedes. So, um, again, this is a short game. I kind of wish it had gone to the full length. But I think he pretty much knew that once I got set up and once I got my max potions going, um, I was just pretty much one-shotting him. His buffalo could do some stuff, some damage for a little while, but not enough to really keep up. But I did think it was just a very interesting deck idea, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed me sharing it with you.